What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Especially on the MCs and the MCs for dollars that are in Europe. I really want to know and I really want to talk about today the horsepower numbers. Are the horsepower numbers on this car actually true? Or, or are they, um, or is it just the numbers? You know, and, uh, maybe the numbers are actually a little bit higher. So, that we're going to get into today. But I really want to know what you guys think. I have read a comment, somebody's comment. Let's 
already, hit that like, share, and subscribe button for me. Turn on all post notifications. And if you are curious why these brakes are swinging, because there's new pads.
really the real horsepower numbers. No, the Grand, well, I wanted to talk about the Grand Tourism. Yeah, the real horsepower numbers on the Grand Turismo. Um, specifically, the MCs um, and the, the the Euro MCs and the American MCs, because there are differences. I might, you know, yeah, there are, you know, some uh, differences in the MC, the Euro one, and the American one, um, you know, but more specifically, I wanted to get into the horsepower numbers, and if these horsepower numbers are actually true, um, you know, the, uh, there have been other cars, other car manufacturers that have done this, you know, put horsepower number that wasn't particularly true you know just to get the car out into production but the car was you know a lot faster in reality and one put on a dyno right so I don't believe I haven't seen any videos and if anybody has put the link in the comments if there's any videos on a Gran Turismo an MC or MC the American MC or European MC Okay, being on the dyno. Okay, so if there is a video of that, put it in the comments for me. I believe no, a dyno one uh, a Gran Turismo that's on the MC, a Gran Turismo MC that's on a dyno that shows the horsepower numbers. Not one that's just filming on the dyno and they never really show the horsepower numbers. I'm talking about one that shows the actual horsepower numbers. You know. Um, See on the Skyline, on the Skyline GTR, I believe the Skyline was rated 276 horsepower, maybe a little higher, 300s. I don't, I don't really remember what it was that the factory put it out as. Okay, I might be thinking of a video game. I'm not sure from my childhood, you know. But you see in the Skyline, the Skyline they put out in the uh, just to get it into production. But the horsepower numbers that they had on the Skyline weren't true, all right? So when the Skyline came out, it was rated way lower than what it actually was. There was actually another car like this, okay? It's the um, an R129 SL, uh, uh, the, the 5.0 V8, okay? So the 5.0 V8 SL, okay? This car was rated, I forgot what the horsepower rated was, but it was rated lower than the 600 v12 okay so they could sell 12 cylinder sell 12 cylinder engines um but the the 5.0 amg this is a pre-merger i'm talking about for those who don't know um this car was a lot faster sounded a lot different you know it was a whole total different animal okay they weren't nobody really knew the horsepower numbers back then on that car, I don't, I mean, you know, that those cars are very obscure, but they existed, all right? And these cars were recognized by Mercedes, you know, so they did have false horsepower numbers uh, coming out of factory and then coming out of AMG. So these cars, cars like this do actually exist, you know, um, I'm wondering if the Gran Turismo is one of them because it wouldn't make sense for Maserati to tune a Ferrari engine and sell it, it would make no sense. To, it would be if the Maserati was faster than the Ferrari, and when Ferrari owned Maserati, it would be no point to buy a Ferrari. You would just, you know, stick with a Maserati. You no, know, but I have to wonder if Maserati really, you know, if if 454, I believe that's what the MC is rated as. If that's the true horsepower number, or if it's not 500. Or if it's not 480 or 90, you know what I mean? Maybe it's five and change. You know what I mean? The, the European Stradale is is a, a rare car. I would suspect if they were false false horsepower numbers that were coming out of Maserati, it would be on that. It would be on, especially specifically the the two door uh, MC, um, the two door, the two seater MC with the the roll cage in the back. You know, I would suspect. That's why I'm bringing up the Euro Stradale. Um, the U.S. Stradale, it's quite possible it could have happened with the U.S. Stradale, you know, um, quite possibly, you know, but I do believe that 
if we're gonna take a look at one, if if, if anybody that has a, a two seater with the roll cage, you know, if you guys want to put it on a dyno and give us a video of it, you know, I would suspect if Maserati did this, okay, which has been done on the Skyline, you know, this is Nissan, this is Mercedes, this is two completely different companies, even though they have worked together, right? So. You know, I'm very curious if Maserati could have did that just to tuck the horsepower numbers to get the Gran Turismo out. You know what I mean? And, you know, if anybody figures it out, it's like an Easter egg. You know, but it would be, you know, really cool to see that. You know, I would like to put this car on a dyno just to see, you know, um, what kind of horsepower it actually makes if it's more. You know what I mean? Um, it would be nice if it was, you know. Um, you know, I haven't really, this is my introduction into the supercar territory, so I can't really say what, you know, is fast or not, you know what I'm saying? So, I can tell you it sounds good because I've been in other loud cars, you know what I mean? I've, you know, I've, I've been in other fast cars, you know, I've been in other cars that, you know, go fast, but I haven't owned them, you know what I mean? And it's different when you own it, you know what I mean? So, you know, and you're driving it and you're living with it, you know what I mean? But I wanted to know. You know, if anybody else has this speculation on the Gran Turismo, is the, you know, is the horsepower in the Gran Turismo really what it says on, you know, the spec sheet for the Gran Turismo, or is it, you know, a little bit more than what they're advertising? You know, because it would be, it wouldn't be out of the ordinary, you know what I mean? It wouldn't be uh, something that's never been done before, you know? This car does have the same engine block, okay, as the 458 um, and the uh, 8C Alfa Romeo, Romeo. So, I wanted to really, I don't believe that the 8C and, and I have to believe that the 8C is coming with a little bit different horsepower. Either a little bit more or a little bit less than the 458. I gotta believe that. I don't know exactly what it is because the car is limited, but I would have to believe that it, even this car is have to, you know, it has to come with a little bit more, a little bit less, you know. I don't own an 8C. I don't know anybody who does own an 8C. Those cars are extremely, you know, rare and they're super expensive now. So I would suspect that most of them aren't even being driven like that, you know, because it's so rare, you know, that we'll ever really get to test it out. You know, it'd be nice if somebody would put an, 8, an 8C on a dyno, you know, and see and let's see what what's the real horsepower number you know on these engines if we could just you know take all three of them you know what i mean put them on the dyno and test them you know and see uh what it really is you know um because like even on the forums and, and a lot of re reviews that i've read on the car on the gran turismo even just the sport you know a lot of people said that this car wouldn't pin you back you know, it, it won't pin you to the seat. And I got to really wonder how you guys are driving the car because I've had people in the passenger seat and pinned them. You know what I mean? Just out of fun. So I really don't know how... I don't know how you guys are driving the car. You know, I will make a video. I do want to do a video on uh, the different driving styles on this car um, and how you can get different sounds and a different experience out of the car. You know, for me, the car is, uh, I've been in Porsches, you know, a couple of different Porsches, wide body Porsches that were worked on. You know, uh, this car is a very visceral experience, you know, so, and I can only imagine what an MC is, if it's louder, you know, it's, um, it's a louder sound. It's two different tones to me, but it is louder. It does sound louder. Um, I do think the, the sport sounds better, even from, from videos, okay? In person, I haven't had an MC next to me revving and going crazy on the car, so, you know, but from videos, I will say I think the sport sounds better. Now, I do think the MC, the bumper, the bumpers and the wide body fenders, I love those fenders on the MC. Um, and I do, you know, so, you know, I'm very curious you know, about the MC, the European MC, MC Stradale. You don't see many of them. I'm, and I'm really talking about the ones with, without the rear seats. 
the ones with the roll cage in the back okay with the carbon fiber seats with the seat belts that come out the center you know what i mean like that's that's the one i'm talking about you know what i mean um i love that car i think that car is i really wish that car they should have brought the european m streets to Dolly. the two-seater one with the roll cage should have been brought to america what maserati was thinking about not bringing that m streets to Dolly here i don't understand you know what I mean? They brought the one with the four seats. I understand that was cool. You know what I mean? I like it. You know what I mean? But that one with the roll cage is the one. You know what I mean? And I know that's 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 not those having seat belts that come out the center of the seat. You know, are not really conducive for everyday driving. But still, you know, we should have had that option. Like we should have really been given that option because I probably would have bought. I, I would have sprung for that. Man. That, that's it's a nice looking car. I love the seats in that car. I think those seats are beautiful. I love the way the Rolls cage looks. I love, I, I really love that car. You know, but I really, uh, you know, I really want to know, guys, if anybody who owns a European MC Valley, if you ever put it on a dyno, if you ever had a, you know, does the car, if, if you have other supercars, does the car feel faster than what it's advertised at? You know what I mean? Um, because you guys also get the ceramic brake option, which I don't think was offered in America. And you guys get the quicker shifts. Uh, the, uh, I forgot what Ferrari transmission. Yeah, well, they put the Ferrari transmission, I believe, in the European, the European Stradales. So they they got a lot more than the, the American ones. You know what I mean? They got more supercar attributes, right? So the ceramic brakes, the quicker, uh, the quicker transmission, the race mode that's in the car, the all the carbon fiber bits everywhere, the roll cage two seats the carbon fiber crazy seat backs the you know the, the seat belts coming out the center like you know that car is um very you can tell it's very track orientated it's not a daily driver you know but it's a beautiful car you know um if, but if anybody has a european mc Sudali and you have other supercars does that car feel faster does that car you know then 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 advertise does it sound faster you know does it pull if you ever drove a sport in that mc the european one does do they really do they only feel like they're 20 horsepower like there's only a 20 horsepower difference or does it feel greater you know um, even the exhaust does it sound different than the american stradale because i would you know, I would have to suspect if anybody, if anybody got the extra horsepower to them, if anybody got that, you know, that bump, that secret bump in the horsepower from factory, you know, just like the Skyline and like the, uh, the 5.0 VM, uh, 5.0 SL, you know, is, uh, I would have to suspect it would be the European one first, even before the American one, you know because of those two C's. And I would have to suspect it would be in that in that range, especially of the MCs that were only made with the two seats in them. And not just the four door, the four seat, the four seater ones, which came out a little bit after I believe in Europe. You know. But if you haven't already hit that like, share, subscribe button. Um join the VSLP Club man and uh you know stay tuned with us. No, but guys, uh, anybody has a European Stradale, anybody that has an American Stradale, even the American guys, let me know if uh, if the car feels faster than an extra 20 bump in horsepower. You know, um, has anybody ever put it on the dyno to really see, you know, without modding the car first, without putting an exhaust on it first? I'm just talking about from factory. Did anybody take the car from factory and go and put it on a dyno? You know, and let's really see, you know, you know, and, and, and to know. You know, because I want to know, I'm very curious about this car and, you know, the engine that's in it, Ferrari, they, uh, they very much, they, they make a lot of different engines and they made engines for different manufacturers, you know, that have, uh, you know, they, they, so I'm very curious, even like the, the, the base, you know, is the base only for, for, I forgot how, many, how much it is, 40, low fours, you know, but is it, is that actually it? Like, are these cars actually even tunable 
you know, after the fact, you know, can we, what can we change in this card that either hasn't been done yet, hasn't been thought about? I know a lot of you guys say, like, who's going to tune a car that the car's not worth that, and even a supercharger is not worth, you know, these cars, and I guess, I guess you guys, maybe you're older, you know, I remember this car from high school, you know, so for me, this car is like how you guys, you know, you used to buy Mustangs, and, you know, Chevelles, and Camaros, and you know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm only 33. Like, I'm trying to see if this car can be soon. Like, I got a long way to go for, you know what I mean, the rest of my life. You know what I mean? So, you know, I do like the car. I think it's fast. But, you know, I really want to know more about the engine and the limitations in it. Did Ferrari put a lot of limitations on this engine to cap it from being better than the Ferrari? You know, um, all the horsepower numbers. If the horsepower numbers are true on the MC, then I, I mean are not true on the MC, you know, then this car will be a whole nother legend. It's going to be in a whole nother category of legend, just like the Skyline. You know what I mean? And, and just like the pre-merge in Mercedes where, you know, the, the obscurity of a lot of the information is, is leads some of us on a hunt. You know what I mean? It leads, you know, more people even getting interested in the car because of that. You know what I mean? So I'm very curious to see you know, uh, what we come up with, you know, with this car. Because you don't see a lot of them. You know, it's, uh, to me, it's going to be certified classic. It's a future classic. You know what I mean? Right now, we got this person taking a picture of the car. You know, but, you know, certified, uh, to me, you know, my eyes, it's going to be a classic, you know, so... But yeah, guys, hit that like, share, subscribe button, join the VSOP code, man. Stay in tune with us. I'm going to close out this video, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys. Later.